My name's Larry Whitcoff, and uh, we bought two of these trucks, I'm going to say in 2010, $750 a piece. This one didn't have any spark plugs in it, so we thought probably wasn't much to it. But anyway, we put spark plugs in it and fixed a couple hoses, and it started right up. It's only got 29,000 miles. Used to be a government rig. Um, it's titled as a 38, but we think it's newer than that. We call it a 47 just because we found some plates that were 47, so we put those on there. Yeah. Um, you know, just put some tires on it and greased it up, and it, it drives really nice. It's, uh, Besides the effort on the steering. It steers hard, <laughs> and it, you know, it's got a 500 cubic inch Continental gas motor in it, but uh, you know, it just don't have much power. Yeah. And it, it never pulled a trailer before, uh, or we got it we put the fifth wheel on it other than that it is what you see we didn't like it painted we kept it original it's got a couple of colors army green obviously and uh the red i'm not sure where it came from the civil defense had it during the war it's got civil defense marker on top and the civil defense numbers on it and same way with the other one we, we kind of stole some parts off the other one but it's basically the same truck the same mm. amount of miles everything so uh it's definitely fixable too. It's in my list. <laughs> in your list. In my list, and I don't know when that'll be done, but I got a pretty long list, so. <laughs> so straight six gas. Um, five what, speed transmission. Five, five speed. Two speed rear end. Two speed rear end. And uh, instead of saying speed high and low, it says speed fast and slow on the yeah. dash. And. I don't know how anybody would drive it in slow because I bet it only does 10 miles an hour in slow. <laughs> and it does about 30, 32 or 33, I think, in high. Yeah, yeah. so pretty low rear end gears. Yeah, and it's got a deep ender uh, transmission in first gear too, and you put it in first and deep under, I mean, you're not even moving. You yeah. can walk backwards faster than it's moving. <laughs> so loaded, it would still move, just not very fast. Yeah, that's right. It's got plenty <laughs> of gears. Plenty of gears to climb. Yeah. It's just no power. But, uh, other than that, it's fun to drive. It's kind of hard on the shoulders, but yeah. it's fun to drive. In kind of antique looking ladders, so it kind of matches the truck. Oh. That's about it. Still got the road flares on it. So, what? tell me a little bit about Federal. Uh, even myself, I don't know anything about Federals. 
how long they were around? They were around for a long time. I think they made them clear into the 50s. Um, mm. A lot of government trucks. They also made buses. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of Federals around uh, all over the country. Do you remember, I'm sure you know what trucks your family started with? My dad started with a International, about a 20, 29 International. It wasn't a Model A, it was after that, but, um, and he hauled cordwood with that. And then he moved, he, they went into the service, him and his brother, and they both came out buying uh, Army surplus trucks, which were six by six Internationals, and they hauled lumber with them. They bought three kit, three boxes of trucks, and then they made two trucks out of the three boxes. Yeah, and they could get those because they had, on the GI Bill they could get those cheap because they were in the World War II. So um, they put them together, and I don't know how long they ran them, but they were they were definitely slow too. But I know that they hauled lumber to Lewiston, yeah. and you know around here the lumber mills were just wherever the trees were. They're not today; they're all consolidated. But it used to be lumber mills were everywhere. Yeah, you know, anywhere where there's trees, and you had to haul them. No matter whether they were on top of a mountain, and the, the, the six by sixes both had winches on them, so they could always get into the mill. Uh -huh. Whether they get back out, I don't know. But so, you can fair to say that your dad and uncle were driving stuff kind of like this when they were. They were, yeah, yeah even a little <laughs> older than this. This would probably be a modern convenience truck for them. them. Because <laughs> those six by sixes, even though they're brand new. You know, they are just a horrible thing to drive. You yeah. know, no hubs on them, so they were six wheel, full time six wheel drive. And you know, Lewiston's 100 miles, I can't even imagine. And the road, it was probably 150 in those days because the roads were all like this, you know, so they've straightened out a lot since then. Yeah. So, you know, I'm sure it was a two day trip to Lewiston and back at least. Oh man, what is it? I'm trying to think now in modern trucks, what, two hours tops, even loaded yeah, to get down there? Right. <laughs> <laughs> two hours and like I say two days I'm sure because yeah they wouldn't been any faster than this I'm sure that they maybe 30 miles an hour yeah he always told the story that uh, he could get out of the truck throw something on the throttle get out of the truck get out and get the water bag canvas water bag they used to hang on the front of the truck that kept the water cool he could even jump up on the radiator and pour some in the radiator while he was going but he could walk backwards up the Lewiston Hill faster than the truck, than the truck could go so. <laughs> <laughs> to get the water back. Yeah. Do you know about the year it is? Yeah, it's it's late 30s, early 40s. Fruhoff, um, a local company, Grimmer Transfer and Storage, was around Spokane for a long time. When we bought the trailer, you know, we just bought it for storage or something, and it was all rattle canned with silver paint. And we started washing it and the name came through on uh, so you can wow. still see it um, early through hop you know it's still got a nice wood floor in it. it's a pretty rusted around the sides but yeah you know it's built heavy duty you know it's still got nice glass lenses on it and the retro you know they call these triggers the retro for a long time they got the you know fancy uh, oh the nose the, what about an idea of what what they would haul weight wise oh well it's a moving van so i don't think they hauled anything they, very heavy they don't worry about I, weight. you know you know you might haul 10 tons yeah all right well thanks for sharing some vintage heritage larry yep well we'll show a lot more one of these days got yeah we got more maybe got take more. a line of uh this little lineup of projects over here <laughs>